In this video, you'll learn about the post allocation features in Greenglass. After watching this video, you should be able to use the post allocation features to track and analyze your library's retention commitments in a shared print environment. This includes navigating to a list of your library's retained holdings, analyzing distribution of retention commitments by factors such as subject, publication year, and language, and using Query Builder to retrieve list of items by group level attributes. Once a group has decided on the specific thresholds and attributes of the retention model they want to adopt, OCLC allocates retention commitments to each participant library and then reloads Greenglass to reveal this allocation. It's expected that each library will protect the titles for which they have been assigned retention responsibility and update WorldCat holdings to reflect those commitments. Once these steps have been taken, participant libraries can safely and efficiently weed surplus copies. Purpose-built features in Greenglass help libraries optimize these tasks and workflows. If allocation has occurred for your shared print group, the total number of allocated title holdings will appear on the Group Collection Overview page in Greenglass. For details about your library's retained holdings, navigate to your library's collection overview and scroll down to the bottom of the page. You'll see a new key metric called Allocated for Retention. Click on the green hyperlink tally for a list of the items. In the Collection Visualization section of Green Glass, you'll find an overlay for Allocated for Retention. Use this in combination with the Distribution menu to analyze the distribution of your retention commitments by subject, location, year published, group overlap, and so on. In the Query Builder and Group Level Attributes, You'll find five parameters under Allocated for Retention. You can use these in conjunction with other query parameters or in isolation. The first two options, Allocated for Retention in My Library and Not Allocated for Retention in My Library, are self-explanatory. Each of your green glass items will fall into one or the other of these two categories. The allocated for retention in the group parameter will retrieve all items that will be retained by at least one library in the group. Your own library's retention allocations will be included. Depending on your group's specific retention agreement, there may be items that no one in the group is responsible for retaining. Use the not allocated for retention in the group option to retrieve a list of those. The fifth possibility is to retrieve a list of items that will be retained by at least one library in the group, but not by your library. To ensure that your library's retention commitments do not appear in the list of weeding candidates, be sure to include one of these two parameters, not allocated for retention in my library, or allocated for retention but not in my library, in all deselection queries. As always, the list of items matching the parameters of your query will be available at the bottom of the right panel. When we open the item details, we see a no indicator for allocated for retention, as we would expect. We can also see the five libraries in the group hold this title. When we click View Details About Holdings to open the Holdings Details pane, we can see which of the participant libraries owns the title. If the title has been allocated for retention, the retaining library or libraries will be marked with an asterisk. When you export a list of items from Greenglass, all of the standard columns will be included including one indicating whether or not the item has been allocated to your library for retention. In the spreadsheet, we can see in column AV 
a no or yes for allocated for retention. If you have questions about post allocation features in Greenglass, visit help.oclc.org for documentation, training, and contact information for OCLC support in your region.